все, едем домой. Вроде все нормально. Belgium will commit to providing 30 F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine by 2028, according to Belgian Foreign Minister Haja Labib. She said that the first fighter jets are to be delivered to Ukraine by the end of the year. According to her, this commitment will be officially formalized in a security guarantees agreement, which will be signed today by Ukraine and Belgium. The Belgian Ministry of Defense will also transfer ammunition from its stockpiles to equip the F-16s for Ukraine. According to the minister, this support for Kyiv is necessary to stop Russian dictator Vladimir Putin, who is determined to push back the borders of European countries and ensure the security of Belgium. Last year, Ukraine and its allies formed an aviation coalition with the goal of providing Ukraine with F-16 fighter jets. The transfer of aircraft will occur gradually. According to President Volodymyr Zelensky, Ukraine needs more than 100 aircraft in total to achieve parity of forces in the air. Recently, the first group of Ukrainian pilots completed training in Arizona. They are now heading to Europe for further training. Ukrainian law enforcement and military officials confirmed that the Russians hit Zaporizhia International Airport with a KH-59 missile, destroying the terminal building. The Office of the Prosecutor General has launched an investigation into the impact of a Russian missile on the Zaporizhia Airport terminal. A criminal case has been opened over violation of the laws and customs of war. Operational Command Pivdin said the Russians had launched a missile attack on the airport with a KH-59 cruise missile. There were no casualties. Recall, on the afternoon of May 25, Russian troops attacked the epicenter home improvement hypermarket in Kharkiv, 15 people were reported killed and 25 more injured. It took over 16 hours to extinguish the fire. On the morning of May 27, it was reported that the death toll from the attack on the epicenter hypermarket in Kharkiv on May 25 had risen to 18, with 48 more people injured. Seriy Balvanov, the head of the investigation department of the National Police in Kharkiv Oblast, said that the body of a 17-year-old boy who was in the epicenter had been found and identified by DNA samples. NATO may take protection of the skies over western Ukraine. Discussions continue. Build. NATO is discussing the possibility of protecting the skies over western Ukraine. As the German publication Build reports, citing sources, some NATO countries are ready to expand support for Kiev and act directly on the territory of Ukraine. Estonia, Great Britain, Poland, Canada, Lithuania and France are in favour of expanding assistance against the USA and Germany. According to the publication's sources, there are no final decisions yet, but discussions are ongoing on several areas. Education the training of Ukrainian armed forces soldiers by NATO instructors on the territory of Ukraine is being discussed. The thoughts about whether hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians should fly around Europe 
for training or whether it is better to send several instructors to the west of Ukraine should not be discounted. It is more reasonable and economical to send instructors to Ukraine, said former head of the operational headquarters of the German Defense Ministry, Nico Lang. Logistics. A number of NATO countries, including Great Britain, Canada and Estonia, are ready in the future to deliver weapons and ammunition not only to the borders of Ukraine but also further to the front line. The concept of advanced logistics is currently being developed in several Western countries. Air defense. The protection of the airspace of Western Ukraine by NATO anti-aircraft systems is also discussed. The initiator of extended air defense is Poland, but there is no final decision yet. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said that Ukraine is critically short of air defense systems. Only a quarter of the needs have been met. According to the Wall Street Journal, the performance of Ukraine's air defense has worsened. Ukrainian soldiers have intercepted about 46% of enemy missiles over the past six months, up from 73% in the previous six months. NATO Secretary General in 2009 to 2014, Anders Fogh Rasmussen, said that the alliance countries should use air defense systems located in Eastern Europe to shoot down Russian missiles and drones aimed at Ukraine.